Hi, welcome to day three in the 100 days of prayer series. Today's prayer focus is entitled, Renewing Yourself with God. I don't know about you, but I love a new year. Why? Because it gives me a second chance at everything I do in life. A chance to perform better at work. A chance to have a better relationship with friends. A chance to reflect and set new goals for my life. Most importantly though, the new year gives me a chance to refresh and renew myself with God. With all the activities of last year, it's so important to just slow down, pause, reflect, and renew our connection with God, the source of our strength. In the midst of this chaotic world, let's take a moment this morning to renew ourselves with God. Join me for the next few minutes as we reflect on God's words and leverage the power of prayer. God has called us to renew ourselves with Him. In Romans 12 verse 2, He says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The truth is, friends, the past two years have been rough on our minds and our bodies. From being sick with COVID-19, to experiencing a loss of our jobs, trauma, and death in our families, our bodies are tired and our minds polluted with the chaos of this world. Like me, you may feel like you don't know where to turn, what next to do, where to find the strength to continue. This morning, I come to remind you that God is the source of our strength. He can renew your strength. He can purify your polluted minds. But there's some things that we need to pause and do in order to achieve this. First, let's daily present our bodies a living sacrifice that is acceptable to God. How do we achieve this, you may ask? First, let's get enough rest. Let's reduce our screen time on social media. Let's eat more fruits and vegetables, drink lots of water and exercise, and get a lot of sunlight. With a healthy mind and body, we can connect more with God. Secondly, through daily prayer and study of the Word, ask God to renew your mind, to renew your strength, so that you will be able to line up with His perfect will for you. This morning, I'm making a commitment to present myself daily to God for His renewal and for His transformation. How about you? Will you make this commitment this morning? He wants to renew and transform us according to His perfect will for our lives. Will you allow Him? Join me in praying for the following requests. Pray for our church leaders and administrators to have a renewed mind so that they will do the things that are good and acceptable to the will of God. Pray that we will have a oneness with God, that we will not be conformed to this world. Pray for the Footprints of Hope evangelistic campaign in the Caribbean. And finally, let's pray for special needs individual. Let us pray. Most righteous eternal Father, certainly Lord, you are the source of all strength. Things have been difficult over the past year or two. And at this time, Lord, we're coming back to you and we're asking you to renew our strength, to renew our minds, to renew our bodies because certainly, Lord, we are not able to continue without you. In a special way, Lord, we want to place the prayer requests before you. We want to pray for the evangelistic campaign, Lord. We pray that your Holy Spirit will continue to use your manservant as he proclaim your messages each night. We pray in a special way, Lord, for all the church members, the administrators, and the leaders, Lord. We pray, Lord, that we will give our will to you so that your will may be done in our lives. Finally, Lord, we want to place those who are, have special needs in your hands. Truly, Lord, it's difficult, but we pray, Lord, that the families for these persons will support them and help them to go through whatever challenges they're going through. We want to thank you again, Lord, for all that you've done. We're so grateful that you've kept us alive and that you've given us a second chance. Be with us even now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for tuning in with us this morning. Join us tomorrow as we focus on 
giving my heart to God. Stay connected with us by following us on all our social media platforms at Shorts with SDA Church. And before you go, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, walk good.